Hey guys, it's Vinda. So for today's video, I'm going to do a bit of a review for you of some Demonia boots that I bought the other day. Now, I must say to begin with, this isn't going to be the greatest review because I haven't really done reviews before and I'm not that good at it. And also, I only bought these boots a couple of weeks ago and so I can't really show you how they go wear and tear wise but I can show you how they are comfort wise for wearing them for a long time and the sizing, all of that stuff. The boots I got were the Demonia Damned 318 in a black holographic sort of look. This is the box they came in, it is huge. I've gotten rid of all of the packaging but they did come nicely packed with all of the um, tissue paper stuffed in the boot to keep it a nice shape and cardboard around it and on top of it and it was very nicely packed. This is what the boots look like. They are a shiny fabric with that holographic look on them. I haven't really been that into the holographic look but I saw these and fell in love with them and I like that they're black holographic and not white holographic like a lot of things are. They like reflect lights because they're so shiny and my cat goes crazy for that. So yeah, I'm sorry. So I got these boots in a US size 8. Now my Australian size is generally also an 8 and I wasn't sure whether I should get a US 8 or 9 because sometimes in size conversions it seems that US and Australian sizes are the same and sometimes it says that you should size up one but I tried just a US 8 to see what that was like and I think this is the right size for me. I did find that they were a bit tight around my toes when I first tried them on but they also were loose around the ankle area so I wouldn't want to get a size larger. So I must say they were to begin with a little awkward feeling and the size seemed a bit weird the way it was tight in one spot and then too loose in another spot. But what fixes that is I spent quite a while just with them on adjusting all of the buckle lengths and you can adjust each individual buckle to be longer or shorter and give you more or less room. So I found that I needed these first couple down here to be a bit looser and then I needed the ones up here around the top of the ankle area to be tighter and then I needed the ones up the very top near my calf to be looser again so that they could fit on nicely and that took a bit of time but once you've gone through that process and organized all of the buckles they are much comfier and they fit on really easily and you just need to zip them on and off. I wore these out to Supernova the other day and I am very happy with the comfort levels of these boots. I did take smaller shoes in my handbag in case I couldn't stand walking all day in these boots because it was the first time I'd worn them out but I was really happy they were very comfortable to wear. I could wear them all day without worrying about my feet getting sore at all. I love that they add height and they have this badass platform on them, but they're still flat shoes, they don't have a heel, so after you get used to the fact that you're a couple of inches taller and it's kind of like you're walking on stilts, it's actually easy to walk in. These are also not the cheapest boots to buy. They were $200 to begin with, but I got them on sale for $130. Now I'm going to show just a couple of clips of me wearing them so you can see what they look like on. I think they look really awesome and I have been wanting big badass demonia boots like these for years now. So I'm so happy I finally have them.
Okay guys, so that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if this review was at all helpful to you and if you want a updated one once I've worn the boots more. I'm helping my cat up on my bed. Once I've worn the boots more and can tell you how long they last. And I hope to see you in my next video. Alright, bye!